They either say George did, Martin did everything, or the Beatles did everything. It was neither one. You know, George had done no rock and roll when we met him, and we'd never been in a studio, so we did a lot of learning together. He had a very great musical knowledge and background. So he could translate for us and suggest a lot of things, which he did, you know, and he'd come up with amazing technical things like slowing down the piano and playing it slow and putting it on and, and things like that, you know. And like in Walrus, when we made it, we had, on the mix of Walrus, we have a live radio coming through, you know. So whatever came through on the radio was like, George would make it so as I could mix and there, well, the radio would be coming through the machines, you know. But he also come up with things like, well, have you heard an oboe? Hey, that would be nice. So it was really, we grew together. And so it's like saying, it's, it's hard to say who did what, you know. Yeah. I mean, he taught us a lot, and I'm sure we taught him a lot by our, our sort of primitive musical ability, which is all I have still, you know. I still have to have something to translate what I'm trying to say all the time. And so it was a mutual benefit. Mm.